Hey everyone, Jeff here from Wedge Clamp Systems. We're going to take you through a headlight repair today using our Fusion Plus plastic welding station. We need to start repairing stuff, not throwing it out. We're just throwing labor dollars out the door. So let's get to it. On our example, we have typical damage. A broken headlight mounting tab and alignment pin on a ram headlight assembly. In this case, we'll use a damaged housing as a donor to replace the two broken areas on the housing that we'll be repairing. One of the first steps are identifying the plastic. One of the most common plastics is polypropylene, or PP. Found everywhere on bumper covers, liners, and headlamp housings, just to name a few of the areas found on today's vehicles. The next steps involve trimming the donor housing and preparing the housing to be repaired. This video's focus is on just how easy it is to repair parts that we would normally throw away. Keep in mind, in most cases, the original broken tabs can easily be reused. So I've trimmed out all the damaged area on the uh, good housing, and uh, from our donor housing, I've got the other piece ready to go, and it fits nice and snug. It's not perfect, but uh, that's okay. Uh, what I'm going to be doing on this particular job because it's uh, sort of no access to the backside is I'm going to be actually instead of uh, just using the die grinder bit I'm actually going to do a, just a slight bevel all the way around just to allow the uh, the plastic welding ribbon to actually settle into, into shape so you can see a little bit closer here just what it looks like prior to the welding so here we are we've got our edges beveled to about a 45 degree down to the base and uh, that's around the perimeter of the housing and of uh, the part that we're replacing. So I'm pretty much good to go. Now, one of the things I want to do, of course, is make sure that this does not shift during the uh, welding operations. So I'm going to use a little bit of our uh, aluminum back tape to hold it into place. Once that's done, I'm good to go and we're going to start welding. So now it's time to get ready to weld. And this is where the simplicity of the Fusion Plus welder really shines. So for a technician, all you have to do is simply pick the wand up out of the cradle, of course. And as you can see, it's quickly warming itself up. And as we've talked about in previous videos, as soon as that dims, we're actually ready to weld. So that's the cool thing about this system is just how quick it actually is to use. So I've got a couple pieces of tape in here uh, holding it into place. It's critical for this to be positioned correctly as this is a, an alignment pin uh, for the headlight assembly. So uh, making sure this is flush and uh, on all planes has been very important. So what I'll do now is I'm going to fire up the welder. I'll lay a bead down here, a bead down here, uh, let it cool, peel this off and carry on with the ends. Okay, we're about ready to go. I've positioned the camera such that you can see pretty good what I'm about to do. So as we've talked about in previous videos, the idea is to hit the, the base plastic and the rod about the same uh, amount of time, uh, just till we get nice and tacky. So what I'll do is I'll come down and start to preheat. Nice and gradual, 5 to 10 degrees, just let the rod do the work as the hot air strikes the plastic, creating fusion. I'll stop about there, just heat my rod up a little tiny bit. Pull it away.
So now we'll do the ends. Once you're all done, use the smoothing iron to go in and finish off your welds. Just tune them up a little tiny bit. Strength is there, there's no issues with the, uh, with the weld itself. As you can see, there's, I can pick it up easily. You have no issues, very strong. Okay, smooth it out, you're good to go. So there you have our repair, all smoothed out. You could get fussier if you wish to. This is the back side of a headlight assembly and uh, of course uh, nobody's ever going to see this again. But uh, it's back to full strength. I have no qualms about smacking this back into the uh, socket and uh, having it point in the right direction. The front tab repair is similar to the rear tab repair with minor differences. Temperature settings remain the same, but due to the tight area we will weld in, a round 3mm diameter welding rod was chosen. The following video shows the basic steps performed to successfully weld the donor tab back onto the housing. As in the first repair, we need to prep the housing. We carefully trimmed the damaged tab from the housing. This careful trimming gave a good base for the donor tab. Next, we carefully trim the donor tab from the donor housing. Once we trimmed all the excess plastic, we were left with this. A nice tab. A quick test fit confirms we have a good fit. Using our aluminum foil tape and our noted dimensions from the donor housing, we position the tab. Using a 3mm rod and a 572 degree Fahrenheit setting on the Fusion Plus, we completed the welding process both on the front side and the back side of the tab. 100% strength achieved. Repair of most thermoplastics are easily achieved with sound prep practices and careful alignment. The Fusion Plus makes the task simple by accurately controlling temperature and airspeed. So, let's repair stuff, not replace it. Maximize your earning potential while reducing waste. Plastic welding is very cost effective versus using adhesives and much stronger. Thanks for listening.